So you know how the avatars in Marvelous Designer, they're not busty or they're not curvy and maybe you want to have that model or that avatar that showcases the beauty of the clothes you're designing. Like as you can see the avatar in Marvelous Designer, it's not really busty, it's just your basic model, you know. So you want to save your own model, like have your own folder on Marvelous Designer so that you can always have access to all your models or your avatars whenever you want to design. So we're going to delete this avatar so we'll go to file we'll go to import go to fbx so why i use fbx is because it saves all the textures in my custom model so if you use obj it's just gonna come in as white but with fbx it's going to have all the textures of the avatar embedded in the model so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to paste my path so it takes me to the model i want to import so this is an fbx woman so i open it up and then i'm going to import it as basic as it is like this so i'm going to say okay and then we we'll wait for it to come in so you can see here the arrangement points were not fitted because it's your custom model yeah let's go on so now your model is in here and you can see it came in with all the textures and it's curvy it has all the you know yada 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 you might need from a model if you dress this model up it's going to look really good on the model because of the curves so let's attach a custom garment like a garment already in marvelous designer now you can see this is the actual size of a typical marvelous designer avatar and look at the size of your avatar very little now if i decide to drape this clothes on this avatar if i decide to drape this clothes on this model it's going to be really really terrible it's going to be jagged it's going to like it's going to look like a very low poly clothes and i have to do a lot of things to it so what you just have to do you have to delete this and import it as normal size so you delete all avatar you go back to what you did before import fbx and then it's still here open so in place of 100 you have to make this 1000 so that your avatar will have to come in as a normal full size of marvelous designer so you say open and then we give it some time and voila your model is here so if i decide to just arrange this properly and simulate you're going to see it's going to come in normally let's do that right now so we're going to move this away and set it properly so it can sit well on the avatar yes this way okay let's just simulate so you can see it sits perfectly on the avatar so you can just reduce the particle distance to refine it and make it look nicer but this is it this is how you can but now how do i save this uh model as my own model like my own in marvelous designer so i can go to file and i can go to save us and you can see avatar now here you can save your avatar you can save hair shoes poses joint motions whatever it is you want to save so for now we want to save this avatar as our custom avatar but before we do that let's try and attach all the body parts let's stop this and make it look good so we're going to attach and we're going to attach the eyes nice so let's go to the eyelash so we're going to go to the opacity map now you're going to find an eyelash opacity map here and when you bring it in you're going to see that it looks beautiful yeah so now i want to save this avatar i want to save this model as my own custom model so let's select all and then we'll go to save us save as avatar now we'll look for where we want to save it do you want to save it inside female version 2 because this is a folder where all the female avatars are in marvelous designer but i want to go to avatar and create my own folder so let's say this is my models and then i open this and i call it woman one in case i have more so i can save it and then once it saves you're going to find your avatar saved here so you can see your avatar so you can do this for every avatar every custom avatar you have you don't necessarily have to use the default avatar you find in marvelous designer i know i've said a lot of avatar 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 but please don't count so yeah that's how you save your custom model in marvelous designer so let me know what you think in the comment section and till i see you in the next video bye